right guys we are currently at a pawn shop outdoor market type deal they got a whole bunch of movies let's go through them and see if we can find something something good is where Prada pretty good one Anne Hathaway and uh, Meryl Streep let's see Dynasty Oshadamas 2012 might be worth some money so I'll put that aside here um Dane Cook I'll be that look this one I want for myself. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. J. Edgar, haven't seen it, heard it was good. Okay, don't know about that. Terminator 3. El Fett, saves Christmas. You got some exercise videos. Uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, actually a pretty good movie for a kid's movie. I liked it. You got Zathora there. Now here, I see one already. Wait, I'm gonna slide over here. You're next. This is a phenomenal horror movie where basically uh, this chick turns out to be a complete fucking badass. Kills everybody. But, uh, you know, good movie. Fever Pitch, eh, it's okay. Nacho Libre is classic with Jack Black. That wall, Heidi, nice. I don't know, sounds weird. Ooh, Anderson Silver. I might pick this up for myself, actually. Let's keep going. Dragon Ball GT Evolution. Toe Dirt. <laughs> Let's see, Too Fast, Too Furious, classic. Conjuring is a really good one with... Um, uh, I forget these two, but they've been doing movies for a while together. Let's see what else we got. Um... Okay, Star Trek Nemesis, Amores Perros. I heard that this was kind of like a disturbing movie, but I don't know. It's in Spanish, you know, pretty cool. This is Road Rage, Cycle Stunts for the Streets. Let's keep moving on. Compadres, never heard of it. Let's grab a big handful. We got Rush Hour, Half Castle. Rush Hour is phenomenal, by the way, but I'm assuming everybody already knows that movie. And if you don't, I recommend you watch it. Rush Hour is really good. Oh, look. I have to see the side of this one. Nah, it's open, but actually, I don't know. This is, the bottom seems sealed, the top seems open. I'm gonna grab this one. Some Harry Potter Elf is a good Christmas movie. I like that one. Let's kind of flip this over here. Click. Okay, movie. Twilight movie. Corduroy. Kids movie. Let me move these bootlegs out of the way. Wow, guys, we got a lot to go through here. Ghost Town, New Moon. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan one again. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Naruto, got Juno here, Norbit, pretty funny, Jesus feeds 5,000, Mary and Joseph, huh. Toy Story 3, I haven't seen that one, Toy Story 3, first two are pretty good, let's keep going, Magic Mike, just right, Some of these are kind of falling apart, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. They must have been here for a while. This is a great movie. What Women Want with Helen Hunt and Mel Gibson. It's like a comedy where he gets electrocuted and he can read women's minds. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. But then after a while, he tries to undo the curse <laughs> by electrocuting himself again. Borat is a good one. Another copy of Devil Wears Prada. This is a phenomenal movie. Casino. You got De Niro, Sharon Stone. You got Joe Pesci. Right? It's a phenomenal movie right here. Highly recommend. I have the Blu-ray. Let's just keep going through some of these. Well, The Boondock Saints is also a phenomenal movie. Norman Reedus and... Um, I always forget the other guy's name. 
Sean Patrick Flannery. We also got Willem Dafoe in this movie. Phenomenal movie right there. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, The Matrix, 99, classic. Uh, <clears throat> Glee. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I'm probably not going to make it through all these movies. Reeker. Sounds interesting. Oh, this one was pretty good. I enjoyed the fight between Wolverine and the, the Lady Wolverine, kind of. You remember in the end? It was really good. Um, Batter Santa. That was a good movie. Hitch is a funny movie. Uh, let's see here. All right. <clears throat> Got a lot of... Yeah. That is a... An adult movie. Sorry, I didn't see that earlier. <laughs> I have to cut that out. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. So we were talking about Blow. That was a good movie. I saw an adult movie there, and I had to cut that out because it was like nudity. Louis Black is really funny. Red, White, and Screwed. Um, he does a lot of good stand-up, but like the condition of the, I don't know. Feels like how you say dusty. So. The Mummy, I got the trilogy on Blu-ray. Carlito's Way, Rise the Power. I don't know about this movie, but I can tell you that the original Carlito's Way with uh, Al Pacino is phenomenal. And in the original, you also have... Uh... Oh, I forget the guy's name. Oh, no way. The Faces of Death collection. Holy smokes. Dude. Yes, I'm buying that. Oh, my God, dude. That's fucking incredible. Wow. Wow. White Noise is a great one with Michael Keaton. He, he hears his dead wife uh, through the stereo and stuff like that. So that's a very good one. Dude, I am so glad I came here. I cannot believe I found Faces of Death, the whole entire collection. Can you believe that? It's probably going to be a bit of, the gam of a gamble on whether or not the discs work. But, uh... Alright, right now guys, I'm just kind of going through the spines to kind of see if I can find anything, like, a little quicker. National Treasure is a phenomenal movie. Nicolas Cage movie. Uh, oh, this is, a. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's something else. Okay. We're just gonna keep moving here. Born Supremacy, that's probably my second favorite Born movie. And it is the second one in the trilogy, by the way. There's a phenomenal fight scene with uh, in an apartment where Matt Damon used a uh, magazine as a field implement uh, device. It was pretty interesting to watch. Let's see. Ooh, The Other Guys is a phenomenal buddy cop comedy with uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Garfield! He hates Mondays. And so do I. Street Fighters. This is like racing stuff. If you're into that, that's cool. I always say this, but everywhere I go, I seem to find like 30 copies of The Secret. Um, I don't know what's up with that. You got friends, by the way. All right, there was another adult video, so I had to cut that out. Damn. So I got a lot of interesting stuff here, but just not what I'm looking for. Abduction, Taylor Lautner. This one was okay. Role Models was really good. Paul Rudd and Sean William Scott. Very funny movie. Well, The Shack is a great movie. Very, It's a religious movie, but it's very good. I like it a lot. SWAT was pretty good. Uh, Resident Evil Apocalypse, eh. Decent, decent. Let's see if I can grab like a bunch of... Uh, the Birdcage, you have a classic Robin Williams film here. Let's see what else. Um, just grabbing some spines right now. Naruto again. Something to do with Spider-Man. Oh, it's a video game. Okay. I think I'm just about ready to head around the other side here. These are soccer highlights. So if you're into that. Let me go around this side here, guys. I got some kids' films here. 
American Cousin, never heard of it, but this is uh, Vincent Pastor. He was on The Sopranos. Daddy Yankee. Click. Oh, yeah, I already talked about that one. Uh, Firefight 2012. I wonder what that is. Oh, it's uh, just a bootleg movie. Okay, I never heard of that movie. Let's see what we got. Well, that looked like, uh, yeah, yeah, Dakota Fanning, very young. And Brittany Murphy, rest in peace. She was really great in uh, 8 Mile, and she was good. There was another movie she was in. Oh, here, oh, well, getting off the topic of Brittany Murphy, rest in peace. This is the uh, Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2. It's like the sequel had Jeffrey Donovan in it. That guy from Burn Notice, really good actor there. But I already have that, so forget it. Let's see. Tyler Perry movies. Friday After Next. Sequel. Good one. Ooh, Skeleton Crew. This looks... Looks like it could be good. Yeah, I'll grab it. Let's see, let's see. Gothic is great. Halle Berry and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Or as I call him, RDJ. Big Daddy's Good. Adam Sandler. Oh, we have a Chappelle show. A Chappelle show. Season one uncensored, but... Yeah, I felt... <laughs> I didn't feel like the disc in there. Scooby-Doo. Shaggy Showdown. Toy Story 2. This one was pretty damn good for a sequel. Das Wunder Wunder. I'm assuming... That's German, but I could be wrong. Exorcism of Emily Rose, Like Mike. This is a good movie back when Bow Wow was a kid. Um, okay. This is Twilight's Will and Grace. Oh, School for Scoundrels was pretty damn boss. This was a really good one. Basically, like, uh, John Heater plays this insecure guy, and Billy Bob Thornton teaches a class on how to be more secure. It's, uh, it's very funny. You also have the late, great Michael Clark Duncan, rest in peace. Uh, demonic. Ooh, that one, doesn't that look scary? Tom Savini. Tom Savini was a was a special effects artist. He worked on a lot of... Oh, look, and there he is, right there. Yeah, he worked on a lot of great films, um, such as uh, Night of the Living Dead. No, 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 not Night. It was Dawn of the, of the Dead, where the one, the original, when they were in the mall... Not the remake that has Ty Burrell from Modern Family. Let's keep going. Um, I think we pretty much found everything we're going to find here. Okay, Bad Boys 2, good movie. Martin Lawrence, Will Smith. Ooh, Reservoir Dogs is a phenomenal Quentin Tarantino film. What's this? Street Fighters. Oh, yeah, that's it. I keep picking it up and... I keep thinking it's something else, but yeah, that's the motorcycle uh, race. Fast Five. I have those on Blu-ray. Minority Report was really good with Tom Cruise. It's like they can see people who commit crime before they commit crime type of situation. And oh, we just got derailed in my mystery Blu-ray, uh, mystery DVD unboxing. The X Files movie. I want to believe. Cheaper by the dozen. This one was okay actually. I saw it a long time ago. Alright, and another Naruto uh, film, or maybe it's the part of the TV show, I don't know. Not very knowledgeable about that. Oh, The Night Before was funny. This was a really funny movie. It's a Christmas movie. Now this one, Welcome to Mooseport, you got Ray Romano and Gene Hackman, but also you had, um, oh god, the guy that plays Al Bundy and, um, uh, Jay Pritchett on Modern Family. That guy, I forget his name, but he's on there, and he was really funny. He taught, he plays like a salesman, and he's like, "Did you know if you stab a man in the winter, you could see steam rising from his knife wound?" <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, exercise hip hop uh, video. I'm good on that. The new guy. Let's see. Wrong. I actually, believe it or not, we did make it through this whole thing, and we are on the last pile here. Um, oh, Cat in the Hat Christmas. 
think like a man. Chicago. I didn't like this movie. I know a lot of people did, but I didn't like it. It has uh, Richard Gere, Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta Jones. But I didn't like it. It was based on the play. And you got a motorcycle type movie here. Shrek the Third again. Anger Management is a good one. Jack Nicholson and Adam Sandler. Really funny. We also got Marissa Tomei. The very beautiful Marissa Tomei in this movie. Last two, Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadows. Unfortunate, it's broken. That is a great movie. And Shark Tales. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So we just got back from that garage sale. I picked up four things. This one's really incredible. The first one is amazing. Faces of Death. You guys remember, this shit is sick as hell. This is the original DVD release from Gordon Videos. The only pro I got it for a dollar. The only problem is... I only have part four, four, two and four. So now this is going to turn into like a peace mission where I got to find part one and three. But as soon as I do, this puppy is worth a lot of money. So I just need to find the discs. And I'm pretty sure I can do it as well. Especially since I, I know a couple people that might have it. Next up, I got Eminem, AKA. Now I thought this was open because the top looks open, but the bottom is completely sealed. So when you try to open it, yeah, this is still sealed. So, could be worth money, but I'm probably going to keep it. Because I like him and He's a good rapper. Next up, I picked up this Skeleton Crew uh, DVD. I just thought it could be... It looked interesting. Kind of scary. So, And I'm a big fan of UFC. <laughs> so, um, I was really ready to... Uh, or ready. I was really happy when I found this Anderson Silva fight on uh, DVD. I was looking to see if they had any more specifically anything between Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz because that rivalry was freaking amazing. Uh, but they did not have anything like that. So, but yeah, pretty good pickups. These two are incredible. This was a dollar. Everything was a dollar. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am like over the moon. So happy. And all the discs are in good condition. I already checked. But yeah. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.